Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel, Curiously Collectible, it's me, Timothy, and we have a very exciting um, doll unboxing to do today. I have waited for this doll for, I feel like, forever, but it hasn't been that long. It's been about a year between um, paying her off. Um, I did get her on a 12-month layaway, and then a few months um, for the shipping and everything like that. I paid her off a little early. Um, but yeah, everything factored in. It took about a year for her to get here. So I'm super excited. Um, I haven't made a video in a while, so I'm a little out of practice, but um, yeah, just roll with me. I just got home from work, so I just wanna get her open, get her set up. I'll take some pictures. You'll see them at the end. Um, I always do that. So you can kind of see her close up because it just never comes across great um, on the video. So, and we'll do that, hopefully I can do that all tonight. Um, and then I wanna eat dinner, I'm really hungry. I made, um, I'm gonna make some chicken um, patties for, for dinner, and that's all I can think about, other than my doll, super excited. So, today we are opening um, a Dalmore doll. Um, so Dalmore's the brand. She's a illusion size doll, so a big doll. She's about 80 centimeters, which is about three feet. This is my first illusion doll. Um, I've, I have three Trinity dolls, which is their larger doll. That doll's about three and a half feet tall. So these are big dolls. Um, they're my favorite. They're just fun. Um, and totally different than anything I have in my collection. Um, so, and then the sculpt is Alice. So that's her sculpt name. And then the like clothes and her vibe and everything is called Whistling Mind. So she's a Dalmore, Illusion, Alice, Whistling Mind. Um, and she's a limited edition of 10. So super exciting um and let's just go for it uh they they gave me some free gifts this time they usually do um i think they gave me a couple extra just um because it took a little bit longer with the holidays and everything for the shipping uh so i'm excited to see what else is in there i don't know what to expect i hope uh, there's some good wigs or something so um yes let's just dive right in let's make sure so um Right off the bat, there are some, like, I don't think the box is injured too bad, but there were some um, kind of like scary debts. So, but fingers are crossed. I have a feeling, I hope, um, everything's gonna be fine. Oh yeah, guys, it's the new year. It's just turned, it's, it's January 3rd, 2023. Um, so happy new year to everyone. And um, also make sure you go and follow me on Instagram at Curiously Collectible. I'll try to link it in the video. I never know how to do that. I really need to become um, better at making these videos. I think this year I'm going to not purchase so many doll items and I'm going to put more money into fun um, like clothes and wigs and most importantly, a camera. I think I'm gonna invest in a camera. Um, the iPhone is great, that's what I use to um, make these videos, but it's very limited, and then the editing is not great. Um, so I think that's gonna be a, a thing this year. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Curiously Collectible, and hopefully you'll see a link. If not, um, it's spelled the same way. I believe it's spelled the same way um, as my username on here on YouTube um, as it is on the um, Instagram. So let's open. So she came from South Korea. She actually shipped super fast. They shipped her from South Korea. She landed in Anchorage, Alaska in, within a day. And then she was that night, she was in, I think, Tennessee. And then um, where'd she go from there? I think right up to New York State. And then it was like New Year's and all that stuff and the weekend and nothing, nobody shipped on Monday. And so, yeah, but she's here now. So it was really, really a fast shipping. Um, it would have come like within two days had New Year's not been a factor, but she's here now. So let's get right into it. I did order her the Illusion Size Dolls previously, never came with a carrying case. So I ordered her with a carrying case. Um, but then they just changed the way that they're doing their illusion size dolls. Um, they are, I think they're selling most of them now with a carrying case. 
don't quote me on that. I'm not sure if that's um, always gonna happen. Um, but I was looking at the site and noticed that the prices of the Illusion dolls went up, most of them, and then um, I noticed that they, in the, um, like in the comment sections and things like that or whatever, where they talk about what comes with the doll that they um, set over the carrying bag. So that's new. And the price increase is about the cost of one of these fabulous uh, tote bags, um, carrying bags. So I think that that's what they're doing. But I would check, make sure if you are interested in Illusion Doll, that you check the description fully and make sure that you're getting um, getting the case um, or not. And if you are not, then you're not paying for it. But I think this is a safe way to ship them. And I think they realize that. Um, they do a really fantastic job packaging these dolls. So, um, but I think it is just easier for them to ship the doll with the carrier. So they used to come in a big gold box and I only know this from watching a million um, videos from people that are making unboxing videos and things like that. So I think that this is a new thing for them. I hope so. Um, I have another uh, Lucian sized Dalmore doll. Um, her sculpt is Dell. She's almost paid off. Um, so I hope I really like the size. The Trinity size is very large. It's, um, even for me, who I'm like in pretty good shape, um, it's really hard to handle them. So I, I'm hoping that this size um, will just be a little bit easier for me. Um, so yeah, anyways, this is the tote. It says Dalmore right on the front. Really nice embroidered there. It's a brown, like chocolatey tote. My others are like that. It has feet on the bottom. It's nice, so if you do wanna bring your doll somewhere for like photography or something, I think that's gonna be the goal here. Although I always say that, but then the dolls are so pretty and so nice. I never want them to go outside in like the sun and um, elements and things like that. So I'm, I'm all talk. Anyway, so I just opened this. I'm assuming if there's things in here, they're inside the tote. Um, but let's just go for it. I, we are on my um, living room floor again because with these heavy dolls, um, it's really hard to open them anywhere else. Oh, I did request one alteration to her makeup that they do her cheek blushing like a soft pink. Um, I received another doll from Dalmore, one of my Makashura dolls, and her cheeks were very bright, which is cute for that doll um, because she's like a baby doll. But I thought it was just like too fluorescent pink, like it was just too bright of a pink. And I had a feeling that this doll would have those cheeks. Um, those, the website pictures um, are look very soft, but then I saw one owner picture of this particular doll with this particular face paint and everything, Whistling Mind, um, and it looked very bright, so I kind of panicked. I emailed the company, and they agreed to do like a softer pink. Um, I mentioned what, like one of my other dolls I wanted it that same color. I hope they understood what I meant. Um, otherwise, I, I'm sure she's gonna be beautiful and perfect, but um, that was like the one thing that requested. Oh, I can see your face already. I didn't want to see your face right away because I like to kind of wait. So I'm going to just cover it back up and we're just going to go through the stuff in here. Oh, this is fabulous. So this is, I don't know if I ordered this. This must be like a free gift. It's a pink long wig. Pink wigs usually are my favorite. So that'll be great. I actually wanted to order that anyways. Oh, look at this. Clothes. Oh, wow. This is a free gift. Um, an owl outfit. I'm assuming it fits her. This is fantastic. They are such a great company. They are the best company that I've ever worked with as far as like customer service and all that stuff. They're just fantastic. So this is really awesome. I don't really even have that many clothes other than the outfit that she comes with. So this is exciting. Um, this is her, this is Whistling Mind. This doll's um, dress that she comes with. It's a really pretty ivory um, lace kind of a dress. You'll see it in pictures. It just looks like a big white blob, but it's actually really pretty. Um, and it was one of the reasons why I got this doll. I really like the like vintage antique lace, things like that. Um, so pretty. This is the wig that she comes with. Um, in the pictures, it's wavy. This is a straight wig. So I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna look into that. Maybe I'm just remembering wrong from the site. Although I've looked at her pictures eight million times. Oh, here we go. This is the wavy wig that's on the website. Perfect. I knew I was I knew I was thinking of something that was not in front of me. Okay, great. 
and I'm seeing her face. We're not looking, we're not looking. She comes with little ballet shoes, which is cute. Um, I used to be a ballet dancer, um, and I love ballet, so it was another reason I was I needed this doll. One of my doll friends um, on um, one of our like Facebook groups has this doll. I think she named her Herda. So she's the Alice sculpt, and she has like a little bit of a different face up. She's a different one of the Alice's, and I fell in love with her. I was like, I have to have this doll. She has the cutest face ever. I think she's so sweet. Um, she just looks like a like a really bright eyed baby, cute. I, she's just fun. She doesn't look realistic in the sense that some of their sculpts look very like human like. I think she looks more like a doll, and I love it. Um, she looks like a big giant like porcelain doll or something or just like a really cute chubby cheeked kid I don't know. She's so cute so Let's look okay Okay, no, she's amazing um, This is so exciting. Let's pull her up here I'm like, let me try to get her close to the This is always so awkward because they're so big like I said, she's about three feet tall Oh gosh, she's so cute. Can you see her? Let me see if I can pull her out of here. Um, the lighting's terrible, it's dark. Oh, there's another wig. Oh yeah, I ordered this wig. Oh, and then illusion underwear. Perfect. Um, what else do we have? Oh, a wig cat. Yeah, they always send that with their full sets. Oh, and her shoes. Her shoes are so cute. Oh, these are shoes I ordered extra. Um, there's like a white kind of leather they're really cute I thought they would kind of go with her dress that she comes with but they're a good shoe um, to just go with other things you can buy shoes at the store for these dolls they are so big so she will have lots of things by the time I'm done with her but here she is oh she's so pretty and cute oh, it's so bright Let's see if I can change there we go. Look at it. Look at her face. She has the sweetest face. And they did a really good job with the blushing. It is not bright at all, but it's still there, which I was hoping, I was so scared that they were just gonna like not do any blushing. So it's always scary to request um, alterations to the face up, especially if you like really love the face up. Um, but I knew if I got really bright pink cheeks, I was gonna not be super happy. So I just went with the risk. They do such a good job. So I really trust like, the, I don't think the face of artist is gonna be like, oh, he wants like subtle cheeks and then get rid of everything. Beware doll nudity. <laughs> this size already is so much more manageable. The Trinity dolls, I could not even like lift them up when I'm like pulling them out for the first time. Um, this is like a whole new world. I think I'm obsessed with this size. My All my friends in my doll group said that this size is much more manageable, easier to like change them. Um, and I like to move my dolls around and take pictures of them and stuff like that. So um, with the Trinity dolls, you're a little bit limited um, just bringing them around the house and things like that. It's, they're just so big. And then when you're changing them, their legs are so long and so heavy and it's just really hard. So I think that this size is gonna be great. It's big, so it's still different. Um, like I said, she's about 80 centimeters, so about three feet tall. So um, it's a cool size. It's a totally different size. You can get like some like newborn clothes and things on them that fit. Um, but the, the big head, they were a size like 13 to 14 wig. And then the eyes are like a size between 22 and 26 millimeters, so they're enormous. And I love like big eyes and she's just perfect for all of this stuff. Look at her. Look at that face. Look at how pretty. Um, I think I'm gonna put um, blue eyes in her. I'm not totally sure. I get the doll and then um, they do such a nice job, job lining up the eyes I, that I don't wanna change the eyes out but eventually it happens. The eyes are like, to me, like one of the most important parts of the doll. So um, I think she will become blue eyed, but I don't know, I just need to try it out and see how it goes. Typically all my dolls end up with green eyes. I don't know why, but I, I typically go for that. Um, I have green eyes, so maybe that's why, but yeah, oh my God, she's so cute. Um, it's really difficult to pull all this stuff off, but um, let's just get the head cap off or the, the face shield off. 
and then we can get a better look at her. And then I think I'm going to like set her down. Like I said, I'm gonna go make some chicken burgers I'm super excited about. And then I will come back to her and like really sit with her and play with her um, and change her and, um, oh my God, I'm, this is like my favorite doll, I think. I say that about every new doll, but I, I became obsessed with this doll just seeing one of the owners, like that, that girl I was telling you about on Facebook. I just became obsessed with it, with this doll, and I like, had to have it, um, and I'm so glad I got her. She is just the sweetest thing, and she has all of the aspects of that I like about dolls. I like that her eyes are really oversized. Um, let's see, can I? Oh, there we go. Her eyes are really big. Um, I love a, an open mouth. She's got a bit of an open mouth. Um, you can see her teeth, but they're not like tacky and she's not smiling. Um, and then I love the girly um, kind of makeup and there's a little bit of a sad brow. It's not like a sad, sad brow, but um, it's just like a soft brow. It's not, you know, she doesn't look angry or anything. I love the lips, like a full pink lip. Um, just that little bit of uh, blushing on her cheeks is so pretty. And uh, her big chubby cheeks, oh, I love that. And I just think she's the sweetest. And I'm going to keep her name as well. I really like the name Alice. I think it just suits her. Look at how cute she is. Yeah, I think she's gonna be a blonde hair, blue eye, but I'm not sure. Um, I did request that the hands be blushed and the ears be, be pierced, and they, the ears are pierced. Um, we'll pull off um, some of the packaging around her hand and just make sure that it's done. Well, I already know it's gonna be done perfect because this, this company is just fantastic. Um, oh yeah, these look amazing. I think with the Lusion dolls, they have a chubbier, plumpy hand. It doesn't read well in pictures a lot unless the hand is blushed. When the hand is not blushed, they kind of lose important detail to the hand. Like I'm looking at this hand now in person and I'm absolutely in love with it. I think it looks phenomenal. But in pictures, um, when people own this doll, they do not have, a lot of times they don't have the hand blushed. And it, like right now you can't see any blushing because of the lighting. Um, but in pictures and things, it's going to make a huge difference. Um, so here, let's see, can I, there we go. See, it just, I had it. I can't hold her hand up and do that little. There we go, Ooh, lost it again. So anyways, it looks really pretty. You'll see it in pictures. Um, it really softens the hand. Cause like I said, they have like a chubby hand, like a bait, like a kid hand. Um, and so I think this is wow. It's, I'm very happy with the hand blushing. Um, I didn't, I thought I was gonna hate their hands and I'm like not hating her hand at all. That was my one hang up. I didn't order Illusion Doll because of the hands. I just thought they were like chunky looking and didn't look like graceful or articulate. Um, but in person, a totally different story. So if you're hesitant about something like that, um, you gotta get it home and see it. I mean, this is such a cute little hand. It, it, it fits her, it makes sense now. But in, I just wasn't, it just wasn't reading to me. Even on the site, I never think they look very good. Um, but wow, love. Okay, so I'm gonna get her um, unpackaged. Make sure to like, comment, share, um, ask any questions you want. I love to answer the, your questions. Follow me on um, Instagram at Curiously Collectible. I'm gonna start um, a fan, like a, a Curiously Collectible uh, Facebook page. I think I have it going, but I haven't done anything with it. Um, or I'm hoping to get a little bit more interactive. And I do collect a lot of other dolls. I've mostly just done videos so far of my Dollmore dolls because there's really not a ton of them on the internet. Um, and I know when I was trying to make the choice to get one, I, I was really craving more videos. So I, I'm hoping this is helpful to people. I have noticed a lot of new people coming into the Dollmore um, line and the bigger illusion and Trinity dolls. So I hope that, I'm not taking credit for that, but I hope that they are seeing more videos, seeing pictures and things like that, um, and getting more comfortable in making an investment because these are expensive dolls. Um, 
and they take up a lot of room in your in your collective space. So you have to really love them. It's also if you end up wanting to sell them, it's a little, a little bit more difficult to ship them because they're expensive and they're heavy and it um, can be intimidating. So yes, make sure to comment, share, like, um, follow me on Instagram, Curiously Collectible, and let's. Um, what do you guys want to see next? Like, I want to hear um, what kinds of videos. Do you want to see me dressing them? Do you want to see, I know I have a friend that wants to see me put them in their um, uh, doll stands. So all of that, I want to do more videos. I'm really trying to get a little bit more frequent with this. So yeah, make sure to comment. Anyways, have a fantastic day and happy new year to everyone. I hope this year is better than any other year. I hope that it's much better than last year. I think last year was kind of a not great year, so for a lot of people. So hopefully everyone has a fantastic, happy and healthy, that's the most important thing, um, new 2023. And I hope in like 10 years I'm watching this and it's 2033 and I'm like, oh my goodness, look how young I look or something. You know, I hope I'm having a moment where like, oh my, or oh my goodness, look at how bad my camera is. Like, thank God you got a new camera. Something like that. There's an epiphany in like 10 years. So I thought it would be fun to kind of say the date and everything. Um, anyways, take care and until next time.